We're ready for you. <laughs> I'm gonna do the um, Hoffman scar. If you guys will remember, for you saw nerds out there, it's the it's uh, Saw Seven where he's got the um, the main guy's got like the scar down his mouth from the bear trap that he got out of. His lip was basically ripped. So I'm gonna try and recreate that using this cheap ass stuff that this guy is providing me, plus this glove and the special. I don't, I don't know if it's gonna work, but I can't see where I'm, what I'm doing, so I'm gonna go to the bathroom. You more than welcome to. Uh, you will never hear me say this again, but you're more than welcome to follow me. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here, but I'm basically adding a layer of liquid latex to hold down the scar putty. And all those fibers I'm catching is the scar putty. Like, it's really gross. Ugh, this stuff smells just, like, beautiful. Gosh, I love the smell of liquid latex in the morning. Oh, definitely. So what's the liquid latex dries is gonna go like nice and clear, and it's gonna give you this like this really interesting scar effect. If you want to get a dip, you can just take a, a spatula or like even a toothpick or anything like that, anything like sharp, and just go up the edge of your lip and just press down. giving you a nice little divot to kind of make it look like... No, I got it. Mm-hmm. A little present from me to you. Don't say I never gave you anything. Alright, now makeup time. My favorite part. Pass me all your little supplies, and then the last. Use for the. Just use some like cover ups and like powder. This is basically like. I'm not advertising for them, I just, you know, it's cheap makeup, so. The more flesh tone it looks, the more gruesome it's gonna look. And from far away, I mean, even now it looks pretty weird, so. But once you be add like the coloring and the shading, it looks better. So, just basic black for the shadow. So it kind of like, looks like that at first. See, I can move my mouth all the way around. Who's with me? That's, that's the key, that's the key. <laughs> Next one. Pussy, I guess, look. <laughs> exactly. My thoughts exactly. Thank you. Bruising! 
definitely want to go with like a purple, maybe a and a blue, but either purple or. Purple and a blue, and a little bit of yellow because sometimes the bruises will turn yellow, just because they do. Um, and it's always good to get like a flesh tone. That, like I have this powder, and you just brush it on. I have a prosthetic that I use, this one right here. It basically goes over the eye, and it comes in like a black and gray, but if you add red, I mix together a red, yellow, and a lot of the uh, skin powder, and it comes out really nicely skin tone. Um, and then you can add, you know, whatever makeup you want. But it's always good to have just a mix of colors. Otherwise, it's So right now, this kind of looks like this, and it looks really in your face, you know? It doesn't very look very realistic. So. What I'm going to do is use this, like a sponge, I've been using it to wipe off my brush, but I can just use the other side because, you know, it's so convenient. And you just go over the edges and then just brush away. So of course in dim light this is going to look like a million times better, but I don't think this is too bad for broad daylight. Looks very like gruesome, you know. But it definitely looks even better if you add a bit of fake blood to it. I don't know if you have any, so. Prepared for everything. It's Halloween, what do you expect? I'm just gonna use the same brush as before. Just take a little bit of fake blood. You can easily make this stuff too. Be extra careful because this stuff can be sticky. You can even make your own. I use it's I use um corn syrup and food coloring. Works just as yep, well. Just fine. That is looking pretty gnarly, and if if I do say so myself. And this wasn't bad for a quick technique. I know my face looks like really pale, it's because I am. But yeah, that's how your end product would look like. Or if you want to get even creative with it, you can add stitches because it's fake, um, it's scar putty. It's um, easier to thread this um, needle through, but you gotta be really cautious because if you're using liquid latex, that can be a lot more dangerous. Don't want anybody looking like this for real. Alright, since this is a little bit more delicate, I'm gonna get in front of the mirror here. I'm just gonna zoom in. Slow zoom in. Just gonna that should you know you can look however you want and then you're gonna make sure that you got one thread just gonna snip it wherever it's always creepier if you have a little bit hanging down but yeah that's basically what it looks like you can see where I tear it tore right there Oh my god, that looks so cool. I, would, I didn't even notice that. Kind of looks like a cyst growing there or some infected. Right there. It looks infected. I like it. I like it. What do you think? I don't care what you think. These advice for working with liquid latex or any makeup in general, get a bunch of disposable brushes. Because they'll end up looking like this. We well, can easily wash that off. Not liquid latex. Yeah, you can. You can? Yeah. Hot water. We women know this stuff, okay? Hot water, just rinse it and like wash it with your hands. Clean it right up. Anything else you'd like to say? Seeing as I always get proven wrong, 
No. <laughs> I wasn't. I should probably stop this camera. What? The fuck do you turn this off? <laughs> Come over and say goodbye. I found out. Bye. Bye.